Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon, we are headed to Hollis, New Hampshire to check out a main line that goes to a septic tank. I guess he's having some issues with it. So wish us luck, stay tuned, and I hope to see you at the end. Thanks. So that's, oh good, it's not a riser cover either. This tank probably goes this direction. <laughs> Hi, how are, Good, how are you? I'm gonna actually start out here. Yeah, sure. So, your tank, does your tank actually go in this direction? So, it, it, the, the main uh, clean... Where they usually is, clean from? Is right, like right around here. Okay, and this is the outlet? Yeah, this is where the filter is, yep, the outlet. Okay, so that's the outlet. So, we don't need that one. I actually, I'm going to have to dig up this one. Okay. Um, can you, this pipe here, have you ever been out here while they were doing it? No. Okay, so this pipe here, you don't know if you've uh, if it's in if you see one exactly like that in this side. I want to say yes. Okay, that's where because it's going to be cleaner if we go in through here into the house. Okay. Um, yeah, just I'm because sure. it doesn't make a mess in your basement sure. and stuff yeah. that way. Okay. Um, so I'll grab I a can, shovel and I can. I can, can... Start digging here. Is that, probably, is that where it is? Yeah, I don't remember exactly, but this, you can kind of see how it kind of looks yeah, like it's, it's right here. Okay. So, so I'm pretty sure it's right, right here. Alrighty. I'll grab a shovel and give you a hand. So you said this happened originally back in November? Yeah, for this, for this go around. Okay. Um, it, it was right before Thanksgiving and it seemed to kind of correct itself. And so I kind of like, okay, it must have been. Yeah, it's gonna be right around here. It must have been like, I don't know, one of the kids or something or. Flushing a lot of toilet paper or something. Exactly, like yeah. Flushing it up and flushing it down type of thing. Right. Um, so that's what I attributed it to and kind of just forgot about it. And then. Uh, Come on side of me, not behind me. And, or this weekend rather. And I'm, Happen again, so it's got a bigger problem going on here. And like I said, I, I thought I was home free after pulling that, that filter and right. That, that filter was actually up here. Right, it lifted from it, the it water. Had, exactly. Yeah. And so it was it was clogged. There was probably about two three inches thick. Of yeah, I saw that on clogged. the thing. So that that's why my the Bob, my husband, that you were talking to on the phone. That's why he said that we should. You should do that every, at least once a year. Yeah, it, so I called AB and they kind of said the same thing like six months to a year. Yeah. Um, based on our usage, five people in the house. Right. Try not to break your grass. I always feel bad yeah. digging up people's septic tanks. You know, I, I did a really good, so it's funny. I dug this up and it was like perfect. Yeah. I put it all back, and even though I had the grass perfectly cut and perfectly pulled out, yeah, you still end up with soil on the top. That's on top, and I was like, whatever, the grass will grow through. <laughs> it is what it is. So the only reason I say that is because this is the third time we've had a septic issue and, and you know, maybe it's all... Right, and like my husband was saying, working. like my husband was saying, the first multiple times that you were having it, you didn't know that you had that filter. Right, correct. So that probably could have contributed it to the first multiple times. Yep. This one was probably contributed to that and the water really had no place to go. Exactly, yeah. So I'm thinking if you start doing that um, every... 
six months to a year, then, um, yeah, a little bit that way. Yeah, it's a big circle. Every six months to a year, then that should, that should actually solve your problem as long as crazy things like wipes and too much toilet paper aren't going down there. Well, I, I <laughs> we have an audience. yeah, we do. <laughs> I yelled at my wife last time this happened. I'm like, you're not flushing tampons down there, are you? She's like, yeah, I was. I'm like, seriously, <laughs> like that's rule number one when you have a septic. That's Don't actually that. even in even in city sewer. Yeah, in anything. You, yeah, exactly. It can clog any anything. Right, because if you think about it, they're like diapers. You know what I mean? Yeah, they just don't break down. Thinking. All right, let me grab the, the pry bar and. You're gonna pop it up right now. Yeah, right here. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scrape the edge. To make these things out of plastic. plastic. <laughs> All right, now, not that anyone wants to see me do this, but it's the way I roll. Nope, I just have to put this up tighter so it doesn't fall into the tank. <laughs> yeah, I want to see where your inlet is if I can reach it. From out here, that's gonna be the best. But if this is where they pump it from, I'm assuming you're gonna have another small cover like this farther over, unfortunately. But I can tell you that in two seconds. So is that the really good cover we wanna get to? Um, if, if there's another one there, I'm gonna to try to look and see if I can see this shape. right there. You want to put this back down? Uh, if you don't need that. No, I'm not going to need this one open so we can close this one. find this cover. Wow. Well that's definitely a clog. <laughs> now you know in the future too though you can always come over here yourself and just and use your shovel it. and Yeah that was super simple.
It's still going. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this up and I want you to go flush everything in the house to make sure that not, no toilet paper got hung back farther. Okay. Got it? Like this. Yep. Checking shit in the house. Wonderful. <laughs> now you know why I wanted to find this cover. <laughs> It's like that Rapunzel song, Mother Knows Best. Oh, when they're in the, the tunnel? Yep. Because they're escaping. Mother Knows Best. It's flowing. Flowing good. So if you see all the debris in this side here, what ends up happening is this all goes to the center here. Mm -hmm. And then once that Zeba filter gets full, you have all of this build up here and then it just hits the wall and it has no place to go. Cause this is a big like concrete block that goes straight down. And then the water comes up between. So that's why I tell everybody to make sure that the septic company cleans all three. Because they have to open that one anyways for the Zabel filter. Yeah. And then they have to open this one to pump it, so. So how does that work again? So, th so th the, this is, the water comes down into this yep, like, tube? There's, there's, it's like a square concrete square. tube. Yep. And then it goes underneath the edge. Mm -hmm. And then it comes up on the sides. All the debris and stuff like that will come up on the sides. And then they pump it from here. So it comes up here under it goes down and then under on the sides of these see these like channel things here mm -hmm. it goes underneath on the sides there and then settle the the debris Stuff. settles on the top yeah, so. and then the water will go out to your zebra filter okay so alrighty well i'm glad you guys came out thank you no problem <laughs> being patient with me no problem that's what we're here for all right, let's help you. It wasn't a wasted trip. It was a legitimate. <laughs> it was definitely legitimate. We just had to poke some toilet paper. So um, let's help you cover these up. I'll write up this oh, open. I'll cover these up later. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we can bring our stuff back to the truck. We can bring the camp, the other thing back to the truck and grab the flashlight and I'll uh, write up the... everybody that does it for that one i hope you enjoyed i hope you stayed till the end nice easy one it was just clogged on the inlet baffle so yeah hope you enjoyed it have fun and i hope to see you guys join us in discord it's a chatting app you can come and chat get to know us a little bit better and we'll see you next time thanks